a few weeks ago, I talked about a whiskey, and uh, it was called Goodridge and Williams Western Grains Canadian Whiskey. And, uh, you know, I wasn't all that enthused about it. And I even came back a few weeks later and tried it again. And again, it didn't do it for me. But then after I added some water, that made a big improvement on the experience. So now I know that that Goodridge and Williams uh, works better with water. I have here another Goodridge and Williams. This is the Northern Grains whiskey. And I'm going to pour me a glass, and then I'm going to read what's on the bottle in very fine print, gold on black, which doesn't give you a lot of contrast. It makes it hard to read. What's oh, tight? It's tight. It's a tight, um, what do you call that? Uh, artificial cork? Plastic cork? Synthetic cork. That's what it is. Now we'll pour a glass. Your quick, ah, it's almost a quick sized round. Let's, let's, let's go all the way. All right. And what does it say on the bottle? Because this did not come with a box. Canadian whiskey doesn't usually come with a box. Although in some instances it does for the really high-end stuff. Okay. Independent craft distiller since 2013. Goodridge and Williams. Canadian whiskey. Northern grains. Bourbon barrels. Okay. From Delta, B.C., 40.2% alcohol by volume. And here it says, finished in French oak wine casks from Okanagan Valley. Oh, okay. And 750 mils. Proudly BC handcrafted. And there's a signature of the distiller, whose signature I'm not great at reading. Now, what does this all this fine print on the back say here? Northern Grains is an artisanal whiskey distilled from a mash of winter wheat and malted barley from northern British Columbia. So, winter wheat and malted barley, okay. It's aged in American oak bourbon barrels for a minimum of three years and finished. In French oak wine casks from BC's Okanagan Valley, this exceptionally smooth whiskey is non-chill filtered with notes of dried stone fruit, toasted wood, and sherry. Enjoy straight or in your favorite mixed drink. Cheers. They say the same thing in French, apparently. I'm not going to read it. But it does say... Consumé de manière responsable, évitez toujours l'alcool au voilà, which means don't drink and drive. I found it necessary to break in here in post-production to let you know how much this bottle cost me because I didn't say so when I was originally producing the video. Um, it's Goodridge and Williams Northern Grains, purchased April, the 2nd of April in 2021. Uh, it was $52.49 with a 10 cent bottle deposit, making it $52.58. Oh, minus one cent to round it down, I don't know. Goods and services tax, $2.62. BC liquor tax five dollars and twenty five cents total sixty dollars and forty five cents out the door. Okay, uh, it's 
have a sip of water first. Oh yeah. The water here uh, is uh, from a bottle that used to contain Glen Glassa Torfa. And so it still has some of that um, some of that peaty kind of funk to it. Okay. So now winter wheat and malted barley. Now what's going on here? I'm sorry, I was just a bit distracted. <laughs> it happens from time to time. I hope I didn't drop any frames. All right. My candle is crackling for some reason. I got a candle and it's crackling. This has a beautiful malty aroma. And there's no secret here. This young whiskey not only has a malty aroma, but I am getting some of that uh, whole wheat bread. Whole wheat bread and malty. That's the northern grains. Along with that weedy, sweet weediness and maltiness. There's a bit of toffee in the background and some vanilla in the background, but it's it's spicy too. And I don't know if the spice is coming from the grains, which I doubt, or if it's coming from the wood. And I'm imagining that these are quite active um, barrels that were used to age this, <coughs> but it is young. It's only three years old, three years old at least. So it could be a little more than three years old, but not a lot, I don't think. It's a young distillery trying to get off the ground. Did they say 2013? Or did they say... Uh, yeah, it's so much fine print. I did read 2013. Oh, there it is. Since 2013. So the distillery is only seven or eight years old. So the whiskey, if it was, if it was distilled right away, when they first opened up, it could only be about seven years old. This friends is younger than Shelter Point. The distillery that is. Smells nice and spicy. Oh, that is interesting. That is quite interesting. I'm guessing the spice must come from the barrels then because it's malty, malty and weedy and spicy and there's some vanilla and caramel, thick vanilla, it's viscous. It, it feels viscous for, for its ABV of 40.2 and um, age. Oh, sheeting action and trails of droplets, predictably. I always get sheeting action and trails of droplets. 
it's the droplets that stick to the side of the glass, but the legs don't. Mm. It's viscous and slippery alkaline at the same time, which is interesting, and spicy. It has that spicy aftertaste. Yeah. Spicy, but there's also the vanilla and caramel elements. There's some wheat sweetness from the winter wheat. I'm, surpri I'm surprised that this is so spicy and there's no rye in it. So like I said, the spice must all come from the wood. Very interesting. I wonder if this will settle down a little bit and get a little bit gentler. Because the spiciness does stick out. It just sticks out. It's very spicy. I imagine if this were aged longer, would it be a spicy? Would it be mellower? I don't know. It would be interesting to find out, but so far, it is an interesting young whiskey. Cheers. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. 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 Food